Hey guys. Okay, so I have a lot of questions on fire cider. Um, this is the only one I have here in the house. So if you go down each ingredient list, y'all are asking, you know, what's it used for? What's it made of? So as I work, I'm gonna talk and um, that'll be the best way I can multitask. Okay, so fire cider is based in apple cider vinegar with the mother. We all know the benefits of that. Um, fire cider is used as a great detox. It's like spring cleaning for your house. So your liver, your gallbladder, all of that. It's just a great detoxer. Um, it's really good for the, um, for your gut. So it's a great probiotic. Um, you take it once a day, just like a shot. Um, the, the directions are on the label. And um, it's, it's a mega, mega, mega immune boosting uh, product. So it's considered a master tonic. Um, all of the properties in there are anti-inflammatory um, and they're loaded with nutrients and vitamins, just a whole lot of goodness in the, in the fire cider. So um, why is anti-inflammatory properties important to go into our body? Um, stress, causes um, the body to have a response that is inflammatory. So anything, stress, um, your emotional state, what you eat, your diet, um, all of that creates an inflammatory response. So all of these anti-inflammatory foods going into the fire cider, they, they take care of that. Okay, so let's break it down. Um, let me think here. We'll start with peppers. So peppers, um, they contain a compound called capsaicin. That's what gives it like the hot taste. Um, mega rich in vitamin C. We all know with everything going on right now with viruses, um, vitamin C is definitely something we should be consuming. And the best way is the natural, the natural vitamin C supplements and stuff. There's a lot of, um, a lot of it's synthetic. So you're spending your money and you're actually causing your liver to clean things out. So you're taking these supplements a lot of times and it's actually causing more work for your liver to, uh, to, to pass them on through because a lot of it is synthetic junk. Okay, so, um, so peppers have anti-inflammatory properties and um, loaded with nutrients, um, vitamins and uh, and the anti-inflammatory properties. Um, that's that's probably one of the biggest properties of the peppers is anti-inflammatory. Um, okay, so then we have turmeric, turmeric root. Um, so what you're gonna find there, again, I, I'm gonna say anti-inflammatory over and over and over. Um, so turmeric root is, is one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory uh, foods that we have that and uh, ginger root. So you're gonna find vitamins and nutrients in that too, but the, the property, the, the ability to lower inflammation in our body, and I'm not just talking about like arthritis, but the overall infl inflammation response that we get um, from everything we're doing every day, toxins, our food, stress, just everything. Um, turmeric and ginger are gonna be great for that. Ginger, um, ginger root also helps with, uh, like the respiratory tract. So a lot of times we, we gave out samples of the fire cider at the pharmacies and people would take it and they instantly would feel their sinus cavity open up. They would feel it opening up their chest instantly. So it's, it's amazing. Um, okay. Turmeric also helps with sleep. So a lot of people make, um, turmeric milk, which I would like to make and sell later that they'll have before bedtime and that helps with sleep. Um, let me think what else. Okay, garlic. Garlic goes into it. Um, the key to garlic, using garlic, so like onions, when you cut an onion, you know, it releases a gas um, and that's what makes your eyes water. Garlic does the same thing, but it doesn't make your eyes water. So when you cut garlic, you wanna consume it right then. Or when you cut it, you want it to go right into the apple cider vinegar um, or whatever the, your base is, um, so that, that that gas it releases is captured. Um, your body needs that, and that, that helps fight with different things. Um, 
Garlic is antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Uh, garlic is like the Mac Daddy, really. I love garlic. Um, let's see. The time it takes to set up. So there's still other properties that I didn't mention, like onions, um, cinnamon, um, honey, horseradish root. There's so many other um, ingredients. Most all of the ingredients are anti-inflammatory um, foods. So basically this helps with, it could help with arthritis. Um, it could help with just the overall infl inflammation state of your body, the inflammatory response that our body mounts. Um, it is wonderful for acid reflex. You wouldn't think that with it being hot and spicy, you would think, oh my gosh. Um, but it does, it actually helps with GERD. Um, and using it after a week, you, you won't have any more. I didn't anyway. And many people that I talked to. Um, so I have a customer in Florida. I don't ship out, but this man, um, he was living on different medications to help with his sinuses. Uh, he suffered from severe sinusitis. Um, he was just having a really hard time breathing. Uh, someone gave him a little sample jar. And they brought it back to him and this man, he's precious. Um, but he orders four jars at a time and I ship it to him and he will not, he cannot run out. He, he calls me in advance. And, um, and that's another thing with the, in the pharmacies, the reason I ran out of, out of stock on fire cider is it has to set up. So I may end this video at the very end, showing you the process of, um, once I make it, it has to sit for three weeks to ferment and pull all the properties out of, of all of the ingredients and then I strain it mix it with the raw honey and and water and then um, bottle it up so when the pharmacies sell out it's not like I can just whip some up it may not be ready it may not be brewed um, so that's why we ran out of fire cider there's been a lot of people say you know I can't find it in the store that's why um, I have a couple more days on this last batch that I um, well not the last batch I made but I have a couple more days before I can mix up this next coming batch um, and then we'll have it restocked for you guys. So with fire cider, it's considered a master tonic, anti-inflammatory, great antiviral, antibacterial, great for the GI, um, great for detoxing. It actually cleanses the pineal gland in the brain. Um, turmeric works great for that. Uh, it helps with hormone imbalance. Um, it really, it's just, it's just a powerhouse. It helps with everything. Um, Fire cider to me, I really can't pick one, but fire cider to me is something that if you use it every day, um, you're going to see health benefits and it's going to be overall health. Um, it also helps with weight loss. Um, you can't tell right now because my camera is sitting below me, so I have like 50 chins, but, um, but anyway, it does help with weight loss. It helps with um, sleeping. I think I mentioned that. Um, just it's an, an immune booster but it's not going to over stimulate your immune system if that makes sense um anyway you guys need to try it fire cider is uh it's really good and i'm not saying that to sell it because i can't keep it in stock i'm just answering y'all's questions and um and hoping to help uh one little step at a time you guys get get to where um you know we take our health back and rather than needing treatment uh, you know, we prevent illness. That's, that's what, um, that's what we should all be doing is making these little steps, uh, one thing at a time and then getting our body to where it needs to be and not having to rely on this medical system that is failing us. Sorry to all the doctors I love. I know y'all are doing your job and, and all that. Um, but we need to take our health back and we need to do it by going back to our roots and, let it be our food that we change um, and our thoughts and everything. And that will change our overall health. So there's some info on fire cider. Um, I will post whenever we get some in the stores. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.